Okay, here's our ready, uh, packet and ready to be built. This is the FM circuit with the band selector and the uh, variable capacitor. Also the main IC 2003. Uh, this is the uh, audio amplifier. Of course, I'm not going to use this potentiometer. Just put it here. I'm going to use a smaller one because as if you remember, our radio should be very small in size. Allow me to remind you with our goals and objectives when we designed actually this project. Actually, we needed a radio to be taken outside for camping and bushes to be used outside. And it should be small to be fit inside the bucket very easily. And actually, I am, I am intending to design the most small or possible and compact radio ever so that it can be taken outside and can be actually uh, benefited uh, of using the capacity of uh, integrated circuit IC2003. Uh, this is the EM uh, radio in WNSW with the, the RF coil. So it is actually ready now to be built in a PCB uh, after it is tested and everything. But the point is, until now, unfortunately, I don't have in my mind any specific design so that I can start working with. Initially, I was thinking that, okay, I will uh, uh, take a container or a box of a remote control and I will put it in a remote control, but uh, I was thinking about the batteries, so I decided, okay, I will use a uh, smallest size batteries, treble A batteries, but I found this uh, remote control, which is, seems to be this small enough and uh, also reasonable because it has some uh, thickness, you know, uh, because more uh, less thickness other than this, it's not good going to be possible because we have a, uh, a width for the, uh, you know, for the components like the variable capacitor and we should also install this uh, uh, band selector in addition to speaker if we find the speaker. So I decided, okay, I will eliminate the use of uh, uh, batteries, I mean uh, the dry cells, and I will use instead of that a lithium ion battery so I decided to steal this lithium ion battery from my own ESR device and I will replace with something else like this one okay because I need this one it's actually good in size uh, uh, then I visited the uh, the uh, second hand option so I bought this thing which I don't know what is it then I was thinking very good this is very small in size we are going to use it for the radio it has a speaker too very nice but i had another idea so i found this uh com talk receiver you know and i put some batteries and it's working see it has also a speaker and we cannot bother ourselves with batteries because it's not going to use batteries. It will use a rechargeable lithium ion battery. Then finally, I found this uh, <coughs> from back of my TV. This is an old HDMI splitter. And to be honest with you, the size is nice. I like the shape, but I don't know. How about the, the components here? Are they going to fit inside? I'm not sure about that. To make it even uh, a brighter idea and nice idea than before, I found this beautiful speaker, but it has some width, as you can see. It has some width, which, which, which means that I should also put a, a hole or an opening on the PCB, and that's going to sacrifice me a lot. And if we put the variable capacitor here, and the volume uh, control here uh, not much left for the other components as you can see there so I don't know to be honest with you until now I did not decide and I, I'm not able to decide 
So if you have any idea, my friends, please help me in that. Just contact me and send me a, a comment or something because uh, our aim is to actually uh, build this radio in a very small possible, the smallest possible and compact uh, design, which means also the PCB should be also compressed to the maximum level. Uh, and without actually uh, uh, putting ourselves in, in, in the problems because if it's too small, we are going to spend a lot of time and uh, maybe it will not uh, work like that. I mean, we need, like for example, this size is good. It will need some effort, yes, but first off, we, we should replace this one. We should search for another uh, smaller speaker. I don't know. To connect this uh, thing which I don't know what is it exactly. Okay, it's, it's not working on three volts. It's working on maybe, it's not working on nine volts. It's working on six volts. So let's try and see. Is it for opening doors or I don't know what is it actually. Okay, very good news. Let me show you what I got when I opened this receiver radio here. It is a beautiful and tiny and good size speaker, which is this one. Uh in addition to the battery that we're going to take, we'll be able to utilize this thing here. You know what I'm saying? From one side, we will put the uh, variable capacitor. The other side, we'll put the volume control. And from the above side, we will also install the uh, uh, band selector. So now we can utilize the whole place, which now we can say possibly our components that we have seen earlier will be accommodated here. Uh, this one I opened, but the speaker is large with is this big magnetic Chinese one. It's not going to be uh, used in such thing, you know? It's very large. Uh, so I left it away and I found this beautiful thing, my friends. Now I'm going now to test it and we will see how effective it is because I'm really excited to use it this will solve all the problems you know what i'm saying i can say now 20 percent of all problems for design is solved because we have chance to use this one with the presence of this beautiful uh speaker first i was worrying about the uh battery compartment then we changed we moved and shifted from 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 dry cells that will take so much space to uh, this beautiful thing here, lithium ion rechargeable. Then we thought about the speaker. Remember we have this speaker. This speaker now is not a problem because we'll not use it. We found this good thing here. Okay, that's bad. It's very, very weak and does not produce any loudness at all, see? It's very weak. I don't know why, but we're not going to use it, this <laughs> Very tiny sound, we cannot use it. But, I found something else. Maybe it is better. Okay, I found this beautiful thing here. This is nice. It's a little bit smaller than this. So we are going to try it and see what will happen. Okay, here we are. I think we found the best one. This is the idea. Now we're testing this one. Okay. 
can be any more better than this. Very good. All right, I guess this is the best one. It cannot be any more nicer than this. Oh. Let's go ahead and open it. For our project and fill it in here. Take out the we'll take out all the uh, electronics inside and prepare it to be used. Uh, and if we had to open some opens or do some hold on this uh, the PCB board like this PCB, it's okay. It cannot make any problems. It is bad. And the cone is plastic. Also, the voice call is stuck. So I'm happy we did not use. Okay. You see, this is the maximum volume. They're really bad. Okay, now we have this beautiful thing here that I showed you before that we are going to use. Space is nice and the small size. We have two of them. So I'm going to choose the best of them. This is 8 ohms, 1 watt. Okay, I'm going to use the best one after I check. And they are still smaller in diameter than this one. But in the width, I mean the height, they have the same height. I believe they have the same height. Do they have the same uh, magnetic width? Yes, they have the same. So, I don't know. They are appearing to me as if this one is a small, I think. I mean, it's not high like this one. Honestly, I don't know. So I'm going to use one of them. Mostly it is this is small, nice one. Okay. Okay, here's what we have done so far. We succeeded in extracting this battery because it's flat and nice and thin from the CSR, okay? And it replaced it with a another lithium ion battery that was actually used for some Chinese device, like this one, actually. I succeeded in uh, charging them. And this one, I'm going to take it and put it to the stocks, okay? I have a cobble of lithium ion batteries that's going to be put with them and it was nice it's working and nice see the voltage is 4.07 voltage very nice so we have now number one the battery the battery this is going to be stuck to the top of the box okay number two we obtained this flat and nice speaker and tiny and small so that we can use it also in the box that has a very very little space okay remember very little space because our goal and intention from beginning to put this design in a very small compact size and very small box okay then after that we opened this uh, box, this is the intended, intended box that we actually uh, accepted. And it is very small, I have to say. I have taken out this uh, spilliter, it is working and nice. Maybe I will benefit from it later. And cleaned it a little bit by breaking the things inside here. And I tried to put the large components inside to see is it going to be accommodated or not. But I found the trouble. The uh, uh, band selector is not fitting inside. So the speaker was actually fitting in a very good way inside, as you can see. That is so nice. Later on, I'm going to open 
and I will stick a grid here then I will uh, put holes for this beautiful speaker tiny and uh, uh, slow uh, acted holes all right then the battery will be sticked to the top here like this and it was actually uh, it can be put in any place here or here in any place okay remember we have a very small size then we brought an empty variable capacitor to test if this is going to fit inside or not and it was barely fitting inside so much so we have to make the open here in the box and stick the the screws the screws from outside the box like this and it was fitting very good and very nice okay when we close it like this it was nice no problem at all you see barely can hold the variable capacitor because it's very wide that means it should protrude from here and the screws will be also from here but that's okay although this could mean that actually it means that we cannot have the pcb at the level of the, the variable capacitor because see it is getting inside but the variable capacitor will sink to half of its uh, height to the uh, BCB and then the problem comes when we try to install uh, this uh, band selector it didn't fit it's so high it cannot fit inside okay so here's the problem that we faced you see it cannot hold inside it cannot fit it cannot be hmm. too high so two things we have to do we have to cut a little bit from the uh, length of the bins to make it uh, shorter so that it can fit inside the box number two also uh this switch would not be putting on the pcb it will sink inside the pcb unfortunately that's the only way i am now thinking about not to use any pcb only to stick the materials here in the components and connect them but that is going to be super tough uh, uh honestly i have no uh specific idea what is going to happen and what I'm going to do. All right. But I think I will leave it for the next week right now. And we will start it uh, uh, when we get better ideas.